Well, hello there, and good day, afternoon. Uh, thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP. It's about 3.07 on 6.12.2016. Um, Sunday's my sleep-in day, so I slept in a little late, and um, I came and I woke up to learn about the news of the Pulse Orlando, Florida shooting. Um, and because I play a game about religious wars, I think it's worth mentioning something. Um, Omar, whatever his name is, because he doesn't really warrant a mention in our history, uh, he called up the uh, 911 emergency services in his area and said, oh, I'm part of Islamic State, just before shooting uh, him up, uh, shooting up this nightclub, and uh, as a history teacher, um, you're gonna have to forgive me, this isn't gonna be professional grade war recording, obviously, um, as a historian, I, I find this, you know, on one hand, like, the textbook definition for being Islamic is this statement, you know, there is no God but God, there is no Allah but Allah, um, and, that's all well and good, but that does not apply to this case. This guy is not an Islamic terrorist just because he may have been Islamic or because of whatever. Uh, his father, of all people, said, like, first of all, I don't understand how my kid could do this. But second of all, made very clear that this attack was about gay people. Um, I'm not going to get into detail about myself. I will say that I have many gay friends, many close gay friends. And, um, you know, I'm stunned by this because this is one of the largest domestic terror attacks in American history. Let's be dead honest here. Um, look, it's a presidential election. It's time when things run high. Uh, I play Crusader Kings, which is about ancient wars between religions. And this does not smack of an ancient war between religions to me. This smacks of a person who has heard anti-gay rhetoric for years. Now, this is a guy who beat his wife. Uh, she, they were only married functionally for a few months before she got rescued by her family. This is a guy who uh, liked to, war, to wear NYPD shirts and was licensed by the state of Florida to carry a weapon. This is the same state that had Trayvon Martin get shot down by George Zimmerman who sold his gun on eBay or whatever the hell it was. Um, look... This is a result not of Islamic terrorism, and if you allow them to blame Islamic terrorism for this, you are ignoring the larger picture. This is about the message of hate that many people in our country have been spewing for the last few years, and it's culminated with the presidency of Donald Trump. I waited until I saw Donald Trump's reaction to this, and for those of you who, you know, might have wondered, like, his first tweet was kind of conciliatory. It was sort of like, hey, this is a tragedy. But, um... Assholes. Yeah, okay, the guy shouted out Al Akbar, but he, his response was, is President Obama finally going to mention the words radical Islamic terrorism? If he doesn't, he should immediately resign in disgrace. No, Donald, you should resign in disgrace. You are a coward. You are a bastard of all horrible proportions. I'm sorry I don't usually break down like this, but there are 50 dead Americans and 50 wounded, and you have the audacity to say these things. No, this guy was not a radical Islamic terrorist. It's true that he had sympathies towards Islam, and it, uh, not Islam, I'm sorry, uh, towards Islamic State. Um, it's true that he had these sympathies. Don't get me wrong, this guy was a scumbag long before he committed these crimes. But he wasn't an Islamic State member for the past six years in hiding, pal. He converted to that particular branch of his faith uh, the night before he killed 50 people. That does not make him an Islamic State member. And if you give him that dignity that he seeks, he calls it a dignity, it's really not, but he calls it a dignity. If you give that to him, you are... Well, first of all, you're a liar, because I'm reading this thing about how you didn't mock a New York Times reporter, I believe it was, for being um, disabled. Yeah, you're a liar, but that's okay. Um, Donnie the Liar. In case you wanted a hint. No, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. 
And this is the sort of shit that I expect to see when I read about the history of people who fought the Crusades. And not the kind of things that I would ever expect out of a presidential candidate of the United States of America. You are a goddamn shame and a disgrace. But I want to talk about this guy who did these things. And the truth is, I don't. <laughs> That's the funny part, right? I don't want to talk about him. He doesn't deserve that respect. I want to talk instead about the message of hate that has been spread by people like the Family Research Council, I believe they're called. Uh, these anti-gay, extreme right-wing Christians that do things like take over federal facilities. Um, guys, this is a crusade playing out in slow motion. Make no mistake. Yeah, it's an Islamic terrorist who did these things today, but a little piece of news that's been lost is that... Um, the LAPD caught a guy with a gun, f with with a truck full of guns and explosives and pipe bomb weaponry and stuff like he was hunting a fucking Terminator. Um, the LAPD did the right thing today. I have my issues with the LA LAPD. I mean, I have quite a few issues with them, but today they did the absolute right thing. They are heroes today. Give them their due. Never forget. Never forget that these people today were killed in Pulse because they were gay. That is why they were killed. And you know it because the father of this terrorist said that his son went nuts when he saw two men kissing. Oh my god, two men kissing? It's almost like love is a thing. Look, uh, I don't usually get political on this channel, and it's probably a bad idea to do so. I'm not going to put ads up for this video, but... Um All I have to say is my condolences go out to those who have lost, obviously, but, you know, Hillary Clinton's response was, I'm going to make sure we're safe from foreign threats. Well, no, this was domestic. This guy was a U.S. citizen. So I don't know why your second paragraph after you offer your condolences was about foreign adventures, unless, of course, you're an adventurist. Um, Bernie Sanders talked about a ban on assault weapons now. I don't think that would have stopped this, personally. I think the guy would have just gotten handguns or just gotten bombs or something. Because I, I've studied enough history to know that reducing access to weapons doesn't really work. Uh, there's a guy named Hideyoshi who tried that in ancient, no, I shouldn't say ancient, feudal Japan in the 1600s. Didn't really work, right? Eventually there was a Meiji restoration. Eventually people get their hands on things. But... I think it's just worth noting, and again, I'm sorry for the unprofessionalism of this, but I, I'm venting. This is as much for me as it is hopefully informative for you. Um, this is ridiculous. This needs to stop. If you think it is okay to deny people the right to marry because they're gay, you're an idiot. We've had that discussion. It's over. If you think there's somehow an issue with transgendered people using the bathroom, I've found more anti-transgendered congressmen or politicians in general who have had child pornography on their records than I have transgendered people who use their, I, I guess, their nature as an excuse to molest children. You see, I, I look at real injured things, and child pornography represents injured children, and I look at that and I see actual crimes committed versus theoretical ones. And we talk about the theoretical crime because that's the next crime we can prevent, and there's something to be said for that. But I also I, I see actual crimes committed and ignored actual injured, ruined lives. Uh, that Brock idiot rapist person who, I mean, I will grant you that alcohol does terrible things to people, and maybe he wasn't in his right mind, and maybe he is remorseful. But his daddy is arguing that six months isn't enough time in jail. It might destroy his life. And, oh, look, he was banned from swimming. Now, swimming's a sport I have experience with. Um, I can tell you this. Um, he deserves a lifelong ban from swimming at the very least. Who knows what he might have done to other people in his life. Maybe he's a good guy who made a bad decision. If so, he should recognize he deserves to be punished. And maybe he's a bad guy who just made another bad decision. In which case, six months isn't enough either way, but especially not if he's going to actually learn something out of this. Now, I'm sure jail is going to be terrible for him. And I don't support in-prison reprisals, right? I don't believe that two rights make a... Two wrongs make a right. I'm sorry. I don't believe two wrongs make a right. 
But I do believe that prison is a punishment. And to go back to these idiots who took over that federal building in Oregon a few months ago, they're complaining that they don't get to have guns in prison or social media in prison. You're in prison. You did something wrong. Um, there is no... There is no rights of that type in prison. You don't have a Second Amendment right in prison. Why? Because the guards have a First Amendment right. They have an Eighth Amendment right. They have a right against cruel and unusual punishment being killed by fucking criminals. How about that? But the other prisoners have a right to not have that. Because can you, can you imagine what happens if Christian militiamen get guns in prison? They're going to shoot what's going to rapidly become Islam militiamen in prison. We are not a third world country here. I know that term is despised by some people in the history community, and I see how it's anachronistic, but I also see how it fits. Um, we're not Saudi Arabia, which this week pulled in America, believe it or not. I guess maybe we are. And threatened to withdraw funding from programs they were listed on the child killer list by Ban Ki moon the guy who's in charge of the UN. Yeah, he threatened them. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say he threatened them. He would make it sound like Ban Kai threatened them. Ban Kai was the one who was threatened. I'm not talking about Bleach here. Ban Kai Moon was threatened. Actually, that would be interesting if Bleach was like somehow all about him because Ichigo's Ban Kai is Getsuga, which is about like the full moon. Anyway, I'm losing my sanity here. Um, actually, it's on Getsu, which is Fang over Moon or something. I don't know. The point is. This is a terrible attack that breaks people's minds. And it's no surprise that on the same day as these attacks, another guy decided to load up on guns and go to a gay pride rally. I have a feeling he wasn't doing it to protect gay people. If he was, I'm sorry, I guess you're still wrong, but at least you had the right idea in mind. But th these are not the solutions we need. To quote Sharon Angle, who, by the way, is running for Harry Reid's now going to be empty seat. Um, Second Amendment solutions. This is not the way this is supposed to work. That's supposed to happen when your country starts rounding you up into death camps like Nazi Germany did. Or they start killing you or imprisoning you for no reason. It's got nothing to do with gay rights. This is not a Second Amendment issue. This is a First Amendment issue. Freedom of religion. And how some religions are being co-opted by terrorists. And this man was a terrorist. Make no mistake. I'm not saying that just because he wasn't really part of ISIS. He wasn't a terrorist. He was an anti-gay terrorist. He wasn't part of ISIS, maybe. But he was most definitely an anti-gay terrorist. So congratulations. I'm sure there are a lot of right-wing Christians today who are very fucking happy with this guy. Oh, he's bad because he's a Muslim, but he killed the right people, at least. They are fucking horrible. So, that's all I have to say. Hate is not the solution to this. Yes, you're allowed to be pissed off like I am. But I still don't hate this man. And he deserves... Well, he got shot and killed. So, I, I don't believe people deserve to die. But he was in imminent danger. That's self-defense. That's an, uh, defending of the innocent. That's an exception to that rule. I don't believe in the death penalty. And I this does not convince me the death penalty is a good idea. I think it only breeds more horrible things. But, guess what? He died. I don't have any fucking tears for him. I just don't. I... I don't know what to say. I don't want to turn this into a hate rant because... I'm about love and peace. But, you know, as someone who plays a game based on a history he's pretty damn familiar with. And... I'm just... I'm sitting here and I'm stunned because this is 2016 and this is America. We're supposed to be past this. This man was not some foreign-born Muslim who came over and snuck in through the visa system. This is a man who was a U.S. citizen. He took sh pictures of himself, more than one, in New York City police attire. And as a New Yorker, that fucking pisses me off. You're not a fucking cop. You're a dollar store security guard at best. Who had a license to carry guns in Florida, the state where you can shoot black people and get away with it. And guess what? Guess fucking what? He shot 50 gay people and killed them. He killed them. He took them hostages when he couldn't beat his way out of the police. At least he tried. I'll give him that. He at least fought the cops for a minute before he realized he was a moron. And then went and killed defenseless people. Because people with actual defenses are too fucking strong to take on. It's pathetic. 
It's absolutely pathetic. And Clinton, your response wasn't much better. Sanders may have missed the mark by saying that a ban on assault weapons would solve this. I don't think he's right. Um, but Clinton, you're wrong that this is about foreign fighters. This guy was a U.S. citizen. And Trump, you're a fucking bigot. You know, I study politics for a living. That's my job. And, um, you know, I've been watching the Never Trump, Never Hillary movements very closely because that's what's going on. And if there was anything that was going to tip people from one side to another to a third, it's this. So, um, if I have to talk about politics, I'm going to just be honest here. Bernie Sanders, you were wrong today to an extent. But you, above all others, have talked about love and peace as the answer to war. Clinton has talked about war as the answer to war. And Trump has talked about racism and bigotry as the answer to just, I don't even know. You're the only one in here with the sane mind, Sanders. You're the only one who's sane. I'm surprised Elizabeth Warren, I mean, I'm not, but I'm surprised she endorsed Clinton. But, Bernie, you got to stay in this, man. you got to run third party. you got to do something. I'm just one guy making a little crappy video about games most of the time. And today I'm talking about politics because this is just too much for me to bear as a human being. If I don't say something, maybe no one else will. So I know this isn't my most professional work. I know this isn't going to sound great. I know I've said the wrong thing once or twice. I'm sure I've said... I've just Freudian slipped things and I take the message as a whole don't take the individual snippets uh, fact check me if I'm wrong tell me you know I, I, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong you know I was looking at the one blood group this group called one blood which is about gay people being able I guess I, I don't know I'm kind of extrapolating here there's a lot going on it's about gay people having the right to donate blood did you know that in the United States Basically, if you've had gay sex and you're a man, you're not allowed to donate blood. So if you've ever been a young person who experimented with homosexuality, you may never be allowed to donate blood. Um, this is the FDA making these regulations. In 2016, the AIDS epidemic was in the 80s, people. People need blood today. Get them their fucking blood. This should be Obama's very first thing. Should be ending this disparity. This discrepancy. And it's not the same for gay women. It's not like if you're gay you can't donate. It's if you're a gay man. Because of the stigmas of gay sex. Um, I cannot speak strongly enough about how wrong-headed this is. If you're clean, you're clean. There's no secondary invisible gay disease. Okay? The invisible blood-borne pathogen is called Zika virus, people. We're not dealing with that worth of shit. But we're going to worry about gay people donating blood. I'm sorry. I'm very infuriated. And I'm very sickened and disgusted and hurt. And my soul is crying out in this indescribable agony that I just cannot do anything but speak into a microphone for so if you want to watch this if you think this helps you in some way god bless you maybe it does maybe it doesn't but the one message to take away from everything i've said is that bigotry and hate is not the answer you want to tell donald trump to fuck off be my guest you want to tell him he's a horrible human being be my guest but don't try to do it in some snarky ass way at this point that's irrelevant he's got you beat you know hillary clinton tried to come out and say delete your twitter Delete your Twitter account. And Rince Priebus, who's a fucking numbnuts, came out and said, well, Do you know all about the delete button? And he won. He won fair and square. I know Hillary didn't, but Rince Priebus beat her fair and square. You can't engage these people on that level unless you've got something above them, which is what makes Elizabeth Warren a little different. She's at least witty about it, funny about it, and she has the moral standing, the moral high ground to do this. But when we... I don't want to say on the left, because some people might establish this as left thing. When we in America, the country of equal rights for all, a 14th Amendment, equal protection under law, as Warren would say, um, when we give in to partisan bigotry and hatred, and I got to give Mitt Romney props here. He said no. And I got to give George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush, and Jeb Bush credit on this one. I got to give them credit. They haven't accepted 
their Trumpian overlords. So you know what? For all the wrong shit George W. Bush did, and for all he's responsible, and him and Karl Rove are responsible for this anti-gay hatred, um, you know what? Good on them for not going all the way. Good on them for maybe realizing they were wrong, and hopefully, God willing, they will realize that they were wrong, and will apologize for their role in this, and will start doing the right thing now. I know some people might say that you can never forgive them for this, and, and I don't necessarily believe in that. I believe in forgiveness. You know, Jesus Christ believed in forgiveness. He died for our sins. That is the message of the resurrection. He died. God came down and died for our sins. If you're a Christian, you believe all people had their sins wiped away by Jesus. Or else what the fuck do you believe? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have a good ending to this. Uh, other than to say La Paz, which is my sign-off. When I end an episode of my gaming show, I, I end it with La Paz. And it's a thing my friend gave me. I don't know if there's a second meaning to it, but it's a Spanish word. He's, my best friend is Spanish. And he said, La Paz. It means the peace. Um, and I believe in that wholeheartedly. I believe in the peace. I believe in peace as a thing. So... Um, La Paz, as always, La Paz. We need La Paz. We need peace. We need an end to the hatred. But a cycle of violence will not solve this. It will destroy our country, what's left of it. You know, America's always teetered between the worlds. We had slavery, but we had the First Amendment. You know, we had good and we had bad. And I guess it remains to be seen how that battle will go. I thought in the 90s it was over, and I was a kid. I thought in 2000 it was over because we had some kind of idea. And you know what? Al-Qaeda, I'm not going to cry too many tears about bin Laden either because he was a terrorist and he was trying to attack our country. But, you know, I'm shaking my head. You can't see me. I'm behind, uh, uh, I'm, I'm behind a microphone. But I'm shaking my head. I'm just I'm stunned by this because this is the largest domestic terrorism attack that I can think of. You know, I think of people like Dylan Roof and James Holmes and a Adam Lanza. And they were mostly just insane. And I think to some extent that this Omar bastard was insane too. Um, he was definitely crazy of some kind. I think it takes a certain crazy of some kind. But we have to be smart enough not to vote for that kind of crazy when an election happens. It's the year 2016. We're beyond this. And if you want to live in the Middle Ages, you know what? Watch my games. Watch me play Crusader Kings. That's fine. But... For fuck's sake, don't live it out. I'm Frost PDP. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry that it had to be for such a terrible topic. And as always, La Paz.